Welcome back to Great Day Medical Monday. From toothpaste to mouthwashes and nearly everything in between, there are many products to choose from when it comes to whiter teeth. So it's no surprise that family and cosmetic dentist Dr. Terry Alani gets tons of questions on the matter. And she's here today to answer some of those questions as part of Dr. Terry Alani's Tooth Academy. Welcome her back to the show. Hello. <laughs> Uh, you really love to teach people because it really, yeah. no pun intended, uh, health care and our dental care is in our hands. I love to educate people about dentistry. It's my passion. All right. Yeah. So let's start with uh, our first question that one of our viewers had. Hi. What is the most effective whitening procedure? Easy. The most effective whitening procedure is the in-office one-hour whitening because it has the highest concentration of whitening agent. It's done in the quickest amount of time. It's the most effective. But we also follow up the in-office whitening with custom-made trays for about two weeks. Huh, okay. That's the most effective. Yeah, this, and, and it makes sense. I mean, this is the one that the professionals are doing. Exactly. Okay, next question. I wanted to know if over-the-counter whitening trays really work. Okay, so a lot of us, you have a tendency to go to the over-the-counter thing because it's easy for us to do. Exactly. Remember, they will work, but here's the problem. They are one-size-fits-all. We don't even have shoes that are one-size-fits-all. Yeah. So the problem with the whitening trays over-the-counter is, number one, the whitening agent is not going to be as strong as what we can dispense in the office. But the main thing is, the most effective type of whitening is when you have the direct contact of whitening agent to the tooth. Okay. And since these are not one size fits all, since they are one size fits all, yeah. you're not going to have that evenness of the application of the whitening agent onto the tooth. So huh. you might get some splotchiness. Oh yeah, and that causes other problems. Exactly. That's no good. Okay, next question. Hi, Dr. Alani. Do whitening strips work? You know what? I do love whitening strips for kids. Teenagers, now we don't usually recommend whitening for 12 and under, but we like the whitening strips for 12 and over, and the Zoom is for 15 and older. But the Crest whitening strips actually do work on the young kids. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go to our audience member here, Marge. So what's your question about whitening, teeth whitening? Yes, I have a question about tetracycline stained teeth, and what can get rid of those stains? Tetracycline stained teeth are the most difficult teeth to whiten, yeah. but you can have results. And the, the thing that you would do is you have to do long-term whitening trays, custom-made whitening trays in the office for about four to six months. But what you'll do is you'll whiten for about one to two hours a day, and you will get a result. Yeah, now, is tetracycline like one of the things that people take to deal with acne and stuff like exactly. that? Exactly. Okay. You don't see that so much anymore as it does affect uh, the uh, permanent teeth when they form. But nowadays, basically, you can get rid of that. Now, let me just say something really quickly. The easiest teeth to whiten are the teeth that have yellow staining. We all have certain colors. Yeah. The most difficult is the gray, mm. which is a tetracycline. All right, Lisa, what's your question? Hi, Deborah. Hi, Dr. Alante. Hi. How white will Zoom make my teeth? How what? White will the okay. Zoom trace Here, make my teeth? What, there's a little uh, saying that basically you will only get as white as the white of your eyes. So we can get up to eight shades lighter, but basically you will not get any lighter than the white of your eyes. And some people, I, they just get amazing results. Yeah. As, and other people, not so much. So it really depends on the makeup of your enamel. Yeah. And do we really want them super, super white? Does super, super white look good on everybody? If it's natural, yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's go to our next question. Hi. Good morning. I love your pants. Oh, um, thank you. I have super sensitive teeth. Is there anything I do the over the counter and they're super sensitive? There is actually. What you want to do, if you're thinking about doing a whitening procedure, you can get over the counter like Sensodyne toothpaste, anything that's got potassium nitrate in, you want to pre brush for one to two weeks before you do the whitening and that will cut down the sensitivity. All right, let's go back to some of our tape pieces. Hi, I have a crown on my front tooth. I wanted to know am I a candidate for the Zoom procedure? You are a candidate for the Zoom procedure, except for three things. Number one, if you have gum disease. Mm -hmm. Number two, if you're pregnant. And number three, if you have any type of crowns, existing crowns in your front teeth, because they will not whiten. So if you plan on wanting whiter teeth, you'll have to do the Zoom first and then replace your front crowns. Okay, because a lot of times we'll get this nice pretty crown, but it doesn't match our teeth. Exactly, but so you have yeah. to know that before you go into a whitening procedure. Okay. Or any type of front fillings, you might have to have those replaced after the whitening procedure. Okay, good to know. All right, next. Hi, I've been thinking about buying a whitening toothpaste. Do they really work? Whitening toothpaste 
work, but only removing surface stain. They have abrasives in there, so you want to make sure that you're very careful with using the whitening toothpaste. They're not going to whiten your teeth like the in-office whitening agents, but they will remove the surface stain so they'll appear a little lighter. Yeah, but you also, like you said, be careful about be careful. it's abrasive exactly. you can't do too much yes. of. All right, Karen. Good morning. How long will the Zoom results last? The Zoom results last up to about five years, but what we do in our office is we will actually have the custom-made trays done after, so you'll have those trays forever. And basically, you can touch up once every six months. If you're going to a party just the night before, pop in the tray with the whitening solution. So you just have to maintain it, but the actual results are about up to five years. Wow, that's great. Okay, new meaning to pearly whites right there. Yes. Well, if you're looking to get the Zoom procedure, October is the month to do it because if you mention Great Day, if you mention Great Day, you'll get $200 off Zoom through the end of the month. To set up an appointment, call 713-621-5141, 713-621-5141, or go online to texastoothlady.com or facebook.com slash DD. Yes. And that way you can take advantage of that offer. You can have those pearly whites just in time for the holidays and everybody, you know, all the family comes in. All right, plus, tune in to 6.50 a.m. Saturday morning at 9 a.m. to hear Dr. Alani on her radio show, For Your Health. She does that with her brother, Dr. Wayne Alani. They talk about medicine and everything else. All right, thank you. Allergies.